Hello, we are back with more Darkest Dungeon. Now, I'd like to tell you that we're going to be taking on one of the bosses, the Inkoit Flesh or the Soldan Crew, but sadly that's not going to be the case. Well, basically I kind of screw myself over with the roster, in a sense. Now, the idea was to just keep doing low level quests, the Apprentice difficulty quests, until one of the bosses have a decent loot decent re uh, trinket reward that I want, but we haven't gotten to that and I've essentially ran out of character spots to do these throwaway runs, these um, runs just to pass time and grab gold and um, heirlooms until I have a decent boss to do. Uh, that is because I kind of fill up, filled up rosters with characters that are decent enough for me to want to take to higher difficulty. Um, well, this guy's actually not too great now that I look at it, but anyways, um, so yeah, I actually So these are the only guys who are not level three yet. Uh, we have two um, lepers Two crusaders one of them is Reynard two hound masters, which we are going to be taking to the Encoded flesh once he's ready to be taken on the two crusaders We're gonna be throwing into the cove. I think yeah, that, that's the plan. We're gonna be throwing them into the cove to fight that last boss there as well, once he's once he's ready for that. Then we have one, um, what do you call these guys? Grave Robbers, yes. She's going to be coming along as well. And then one extra Abomination, because I like Abominations, and one more Bounty Hunters. That leaves us with two empty slots that are essentially unlo allo unallocated. Uh, getting that word mixed up. These guys are throwaway characters that I'm not planning to take to high level because I already have two highwaymen and two vestals. Three vestals, not too bad, not the worst of ideas, but uh, we don't want any extras. I'm kind of hoping for another alcaltist. I don't know who I'm gonna fill the the last spot with, but we'll find out eventually. So in, in a sense, I can't really take them to any more dungeons, any more low level runs because they are going to. As you can see, they are at the edge of hitting level 3, and once they hit level 3, they're not going to be able to do any of the Apprentice difficulty runs. So, sadly, we're going to have to just wait it out. We're going to, so what are we going to do is we're going to start using our level 3 characters and start running the Veteran difficulty runs. So, that's what we're going to do. Sadly, we are actually not fully ready for them. Oh, the Veteran difficulty is a quite the difficulty spike. Um... And I haven't upgraded all my facilities to the point where I can upgrade my characters fully. Um, so you can take them. Well, let's just get to the blacksmith. You can take them to level 4. This will be level 4, yes. For both um, weapon and armor. Sadly, I don't have enough to unlock the level 4 armor yet. So that's unfortunate. And we can take our skills to level 4 as well. Again, I have I have not been able to unlock that. So, for us to, do, um, for, for us to take on the veteran difficulty, it's, it's pretty rough. It's not ideal. We don't have the ideal setup for that. But we are out of options. Unless we suddenly magically cheat our way through to some... Or to enough heirlooms to actually upgrade them. Obviously, that's not going to happen. So yeah, that's that. We're going to take on the vet, uh, veteran difficulty run. Uh, we are going to be doing a scouting run and wield for pretty decent trinket. Some cloak, adds protection, adds dodge, plus a little bit stress damage, but it, it's worth it for that protection and dodge, I'd say. So we are going to be taking on also another thing. I've actually started to name my level 3 characters. These names are actually based on what you can probably call Templates, my uh, template characters for RPG games and things like that. They most I usually uh, well I mostly use them for D&D things, D&D games, and uh, Etrian Odyssey as well. So they end up being a pretty decent fit for this game as well. So we're gonna be bringing Kaja, the Arbalist, Brigitte, the Vestal, Fuka, the Hellion, and who is our second position guy? Edgar, the Highwayman. No, Highwayman, sorry. Um, Bounty Hunter. So the Trinket's already set up on them. She's taking the Eldritch Slayer Ring and the uh, Manslayer. So, fairing up the damage. Bounty Hunter has the usual Trinket setup. Vestal, the usual healing setup. And Arbalist, a Manslayer Ring and a map. Unfortunately, we don't have any 
thing that helps in terms of in terms of damage on Arbalest, aside from the generic type Slayer rings, but uh, it will do. Hopefully, will do. I'm not sure of how. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. Ah, every time you click on it, the blood spatter changes angle. Actually, uh, that's curious. All right. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Again, I don't know how well this is going to turn out. I've done this before in my previous playthrough. Well, not complete playthrough, but half playthrough. And it's difficult. It's very, very difficult, but it's not completely unmanageable. So we'll see how that goes. Four of each of these, I think. We usually take five. Let's take five to be on the safe side, because again, this is difficult. I wonder if I want to take more than four shovels. It would be a good idea, without questions. Let's take six, maybe. Sure. Uh, two keys. Three keys. Three keys, maybe. Okay. Holy water, I don't know. Um, and let's go and just take a look at the wiki to be on the safe side. I know that we just need three medicinal herbs. I just can't remember how many holy water. I think I think there's only one interactable um, curial that handles holy water. Let's just take a quick look. I'm likely right. No, I'm wrong. There's two curials. So we'll take maybe four, four, five. Uh, four is fine, I think. Everything else is good. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not taking enough. I'm taking for short run, not a uh, medium length run. I've been doing quite a few short runs, so it just kind of stuck into my mind to take a certain amount of stuff. Five bandage, five anti-venom. I'm thinking of actually taking six to be safe. Yeah, let's just, let's go crazy. Take five holy water, medicinal herb, I don't think I need any more than that. Food, torch, we are ready to roll, I'd say. Yeah, let's get going. Uh, hopefully this goes well. Again, no promises. This could turn into a pretty nasty disaster for I know. Preferably, it, I, I prefer it if it doesn't happen. I mean, I just named all my level 3 characters. So, not a great time to lose stuff. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. This is a terrible setup. We're going to have to do a lot of backtracking. So the plan is we're going to... Uh, let's grab that. We need a lot of heirlooms. So we're going to try to prioritize heirlooms over money, I think. So we're gonna go straight up, cover all that, and come back and camp somewhere around here, I think. That'll probably be a good idea. And hopefully get some scouting. Unfortunately, this is not a good party for scouting. Um, we gave the map to Arbalest. I don't think they have a very high default um, scouting chance. So that's something to worry about. Luckily, we did get some scouting. I think it's stackable between different characters, so we, uh, you'd make a different chance roll, I think. We'll find out. Gonna run into our first fight. Uh, torches are good. Yeah, I'm a little scared because I know what kind of crap you have to you have to deal with in here. Don't give me rabies. Uh, we don't have a de-stressor. That's slightly problematic, but that's fine. We'll deal with it. Starting from veteran difficulty, it's... Oh, God. Well, here's the rabies. Shit. Yeah, starting from the... Uh, well, this is not ideal. We Let's just swing at her. No, it kills her good. Starting from veteran difficulty, you really want to actually... Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. Do I want... Yeah, well, we'll tank it. Let's so where was I? Um, starting from veteran difficulty, um, I keep losing my train of thought. Starting from veteran difficulty, you would ideally really want to bring at least, yeah, the chance of stunning him is very low because of the minus 30% chance. So that would essentially be, what is it? Like a 50% chance. Uh, we can just forget about it, I reckon. Oh, we can try, we can try. You want to bring some sort of stress um, healer, or have the have characters that can do stress heal themselves. Let's just waste a turn. Heal the bleeding backup, if possible. We'll see how that goes. You want to bring some stress healing between um, who are they again? I'm I'm, I'm really losing the train of thought here. Between. Uh, 
the Jester. I keep wanting, to, I keep wanting to call him Joker. I mean, which wouldn't actually be wrong, but you know, whatever. Between Jester and the Houndmaster, both of them have a very good um, stress healing skill, or have characters that I can that can self um, stress heal, like Crusader and Leper and whoever else. But. Yeah, we kind of just going along without a stress heal. Try to focus on the actual damage. This is a very heavy damage party. And honestly, I think that's what we need. The speed is not great. Uh, as you can see, the dogs managed to actually act before me, which is not ideal. And the acolyte. I think they don't call it acolyte anymore. The name changes as, as they essentially level up. But, yeah, I mean, the Acolyte managed to actually act before me as well, so not ideal. We're gonna leave the Curios for when we come back. We're gonna have to backtrack and walk past them anyways. So there's absolutely no need to worry about them too early. I oh, just got an achievement. More than the Weary Traveler. It's probably like a... How many, however many steps you have actually taken in this dungeon. Something on those lines, if I have to guess. What dogs? God damn, I don't... I really hate dealing with dogs. They just give you rabies. And accuracy really matters. We can double stun, but he already acted. So that's not going to be... Um, it's inefficient. We should ideally ideally kill one of the guys who haven't actually acted. Which would be you. And we fail to kill him. Or the bleed kill. Yeah, the bleed will actually. That works. Excellent. Um, he'll probably just one hit kill them, so it doesn't really matter who we do it on. Yeah, the bounty hunter's damage is really, really good. I never used to actually like them too much, but that's um, an error on my part. Let's see if we can stun him. Nope, resisted. So he's going to get another turn. Fortunately, the dogs are way too fast. It's very difficult to act before them. You can give him a little bandage. That's not a very good heal. I was expecting a little bit than that. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. A lot of money, great. Let's see if we get a scouting. Nope, we're gonna have to walk blind on this corridor. Never ideal. Ah, uh, shit. We don't actually get surprised very often. Ah, uh, the swap, the position moving is not gonna help these two at all. Oh, this is bad. I mean, at least enemies are not too threatening. But, I mean, still, this is pretty bad. This is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. So, we are just going to spend this entire turn repositioning ourselves. Our characters are dodging. That's great. And take a crit immediately after. Ah, well. Can't stay lucky forever. Okay, time to freaking dig into these guys. Kill the spitter as always. Double stun maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? Or fail? Oh wait, these guys have really high stun resist. I don't I, I didn't know about that. Should have just whacked the one guy. Oh well. Regrets. Let's get a heal in. Thank you. And the Hellion can finish it off. Oh, wait, no, she already acted. Bounty Hunter can finish off. Good. Okay. These nightmarish creatures so the rest of the corridor is still not um, not scouted, so we don't know what's behind this door. So let's just get our positioning back to normal. That looks good. And let's see. Nothing. There's very little room battles. I mean, there's like literally nothing around this side of the map. I'm not complaining. There's actually a chance of me not even getting a single battle before we get here, which is where we want to camp. Uh, Anti-Venom works on this, I believe, or keys, whichever. They give the same amount of stuff. We can start tossing stuff. I really don't want to toss gold. Gold will stack much... Well, I mean, these guys can actually stack, but... Gold, a single stack is one um, at max of 1,500. This is worth 1,000 bucks. Ideally, I don't want to toss this, but we have one shovel left. Can I make through this without too many shovels? We don't know. Uh, we really don't know. 
I think we might actually throw some trink. Well, heirlooms away. We don't really need the bust. We're not going to worry about the shields. The crests, sorry. Ideally, we want as much deeds as possible. Any painting. I, I, I can't remember what they're called officially. Uh, portraits? I think it's portraits. We want as much portraits and deeds as possible. So we can level up the blacksmith and the... Is it guild? I think it's the guild. Ooh, a map. That gives some extra scouting information up ahead. Still no room battle. Still no room battle. That's actually mapped out the whole thing. Oh well, there's only two room battle right at the end. And there is actually no visible battle anywhere here. If we get lucky, we can literally just get through this without running into any battles, but chance of that is very slim. Chances are somebody's going to spawn in one of the corridors we're going to get to. Sadly, no treasure rooms, but that's fine. We're going to toss these. Um, we are actually not going to waste any... Uh, you have a decent trap to some. Let's, you have some stress as well. Bounty Hunter doesn't have any stress, so we don't want to waste his um, trapped song. Okay, so the plan is we're not going to light any torches. Uh, we are still going to camp, camp there. That looks like a good place to pitch a camp. Maybe a little further. We'll see how well, how lucky we are in general. Okay. This is uh, anti-random. I think my Discord just beeped. Whoops. Uh, I should really mute stuff a little better. <laughs> rather than have notifications popping in during the recording. That was a pretty bad one. Um, I think two recordings ago. Had freaking hangout going... Hangout notification going crazy. And Discord as well. I've muted everything else. Sadly, the Discord is still making sound. But that should be remedied soon, hopefully. Um, let's see. We have one... Well, that's an... That's an obstacle, that's an obstacle. That one we can skip, because we don't want to go to... We don't need to go on the corridor. We can just go through that door, grab whatever curios is there, then go back out. So, uh, minimum of two more shovel we need. There might be curios that we need... Curio that we need shovel for, but um, I think we can toss this one. Grab the emerald. And yeah, I think that's good. Hungry already? No, that's fine. You guys can be hungry. I'd imagine we'll pick up some food along the way. That's the thing with wield. It's very easy to... There's plenty of food to be found. Uh, whoops. Pressed up way too early. Curio... I mean, wield and uh, warren. They have plenty of food scattered about in the dungeons and we are out of space again i'm thinking of tossing the crest we do have a lot of crest i do want the onyx keep the onyx in the meantime uh, yeah i think uh, i think it's fine we... we'll toss it if we need to toss it at the moment no we don't also i think the trap to some um percentage actually lies can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place Okay, hey, old Doc. Hopefully we don't get a Shambler jumping out on this. So apparently that's a possibility. I've never experienced it myself because I am not a frequent or Doc um, runner. I like to keep things nicely lit up. Okay, well that's a lot of money. I mean, as much as I said I'd need more heirlooms than money, I do not want to actually toss away the money. Mm, what can we throw away? Food maybe? Maybe? I don't know, that's a bit of a risky move. Thinking of tossing, tossing the onyx or emerald. I'm usually quite lucky with the onyx, so let's just toss the emeralds. Get that 500 bucks. 800 bucks, sorry. And move on. Let's go this way. Uh, I said it was going to camp there, but I think we're going to make an exception and camp a little further up. That's... I think we'll camp, use up our inventory space, well, free up some inventory space and come back for it. Okay. Let's... Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Yeah, the battle's already won. Uh, 
let's see. Bounty and to add scouting chance, always good. Damage plus size 2, actually, I might take that. Because, again, on veteran difficulties, there are some really nasty monsters. Some size, very nasty size 2 monsters. And it would do us well to be prepared for that. Um, that would be good, but how much? We have 5. This costs 4. So, if we use that, we're not going to be able to use Respite. Hmm... That's very good as well. Three and four, seven. Uh, we can only use one of these. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the scouting chance because we, we already scouted the whole place. That's a waste, actually. I am an idiot. Ah, well. Yes, yes. I'm a freaking idiot. So, we have to choose somebody to actually get extra bonus damage. I think we're going to skip that. As much as plus 25% damage to a size 2 is nice, but I think... I mean, like this will add this will add twenty percent damage range skill to everything. So this, in theory, is more helpful. This as well. It's very nice. Um, either either Hellion or Ar um, Arbalist. Either or in, at at this point, really. Maybe give it to a um, Hellion. It's slightly more reliable. She does have rabies, which means a lot of damage. Minus accuracy, minus 10 on Arbalus is handleable because it's manageable because, I mean, they have pretty decent accuracy to begin with. So I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking Arbalus. It will add a lot of damage. Too bad her speed is a bit low, so that's the only downside to this. Speed of 4. She has 5. She has 5. Bounty into 6. Vestor is slow as a freaking snail. Okay, let's just give it to Arbalist. Two. Where can we use up the two? We don't need anything stress related. Maybe reduce stress damage, sure, but it was as for everything else, not too important. Let's give it to Bounty Hunter, maybe. Yeah, that's good. We already used Sanctuary, so no camp ambush. Let's go back, grab that. Nearly forgot about it. Some money, some of that crap that I don't need. These are like 250 bucks a pop. Not really worth stacking up to. We can honestly just backtrack because there is nothing further ahead. Yeah, let's do that. Unfortunately, backtracking is slow as all hell as you can see. I mean, there's no point going into that room because we know it's empty. There's no battles. More heirlooms. Ah, okay. Portraits? Yes, they are called portraits. I was right. Trap. Uh, you can take it. Bounty. Hunter. Calling him Bounty just doesn't sound right. It's like, yeah, I mean, the only, like, video game character you would call Bounty would be the... Bounty Hunter in um, Delta. That's what we used. Well, when I played it, what me and friends and everybody else call him. Just Bounty or BH. In a sense to me, he is Bounty Hunter as well, so. You can call him Bounty as well, I'd imagine. We'll call him by his, by his name. Edgar. Yeah, that's his name. I should really use the name. I mean, I freaking named the characters. I should really use their name as well. Okay, there should be a battle. One of the... Well, the last two battle. Huh, okay. It's kind of odd for her to be here by herself. She's usually accompanied by a very nasty NPC. Well, not NPC, sorry, monster. A size 2 monster that does a lot of damage. We, I'm sure we will run into him soon enough. One day. Not, Maybe not this run. But yeah, good to see he's actually not here. Um, he marked our Hellion. Or the little reverse head thing. We can actually clear that with our Arbalist. But I mean, I want to do the damage as well. Let's just actually clear that. So Hellion don't take too much damage. Let's just play on the safe side, you know. Uh, Vastel failed to kill him, sadly. Yeah, I'd imagine with, with the marking, they would probably do a, more than 10 damage per hit. So it's better to just play it safe. So yeah, this run's actually been pretty easy. I mean, I'm sorry to actually hype it up to be rather difficult and could end up being disaster and so on and so forth. But hey, we got a pretty nice run. I mean, most of the rooms are empty. 
it's just essentially walking through the corridors and getting loots. I'm not complaining. I mean, we I had no intention of doing this run in the first place and end up doing it anyways because I screwed myself over with the roster size and all that. We're taking a bit of damage though. He is going to bleed to death, so we don't need to worry about him too much. We can double stun, maybe? Let's double stun, just draw it out a bit. Yeah, I forgot to check this stun resist. I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. Surprisingly, he only did 8 damage, because that skill do plus 40 damage versus stunned. So it should have been a lot more. Let's do a bit of healing. Oh, nice crit. She's back to full. Now swing at the bastard. Not much damage. These guys have very high protect, so this is completely natural. Is that done? We can only limit to three portraits per thing. I mean, that's surprising. Okay, what can we toss? Um, not the shovels. Like, uh, likely the keys. Um, I think we can actually toss the keys. The keys would have been, um, yeah, the keys would probably be a safer throwaway in this instance. Because that's, oh wait, there's a final, I'm, be, I'm being an idiot. That's going to be a treasure chest over there. So we can't toss the keys. Um, it could be anything. Let's just toss the medicinal herb, grab the painting. We don't need anything else here. Mm, yeah, that's good, I think. Continue, we actually want to finish exploring the whole place. What is this fountain? It's just a, it's a stress heal. Okay, who? Vestor, definitely. Nice, nice. That's all the stress gone. Let's maybe remove the blood. We do have a lot of anti-venom saved up. And we need one here. More deeds, wonderful. Uh, I think we can toss away whatever else we have spare. We only have one anti-venom, let's just toss that, it's fine. Clear this out and ready for the final battle. Light this up and we are ready. Hopefully nothing nasty. Oh! Uh, it's alright, it's not the worst thing to run into. Uh, sun is waste. Let's just try to... Ah, uh, crap. This might end up being rather nasty. Uh, can we one hit her kill him? That's actually almost a guaranteed kill. Yeah. Yep, okay, we're gonna focus on him, try to get him killed, try to stun him, hopefully. Because he can spawn the little guys, that's the problem. I've actually smoke, spoke about him, ouch, wow, really, buddy? Um, I've spoken about this guy before. The small guys can spawn him, and the big guy can spawn the little guys, so... So, it can actually end up being an endless chain of spawning each other. Not great, um but something you just gotta deal with. Very high stun resist, so the chance of us stunning him is next to nothing. I mean, that's a little exaggerated. We have a better stun than that, but... Uh, we can do some heal. I'd imagine he's gonna try to spawn some, spawn some little... Apparently can't pronounce anything today. Spawn some little guys. This turn, but we'll see. My Chinese freaking genes are coming through. I'm starting to speak like a freaking Chinese guy. Okay, now you. I'm, I'm thinking of just letting him kill him. Because the Arbalest can't actually hit him. You take your time, just swing at him. Can we even bleed him? No, his bleed resistance is really high. He's gonna spawn another little guy. Yeah, even on the miss, he still manages to spawn them. It's a little annoying, but it's fine. We have the situation somewhat in the control. Bounty Hunter can kill that guy in one hit. That's uh, that's a good thing. Or we can do it with Hellion. Either or, as long as we kill him in one hit. So he can't spawn another big guy once we actually do take on the take the big guy down. We should actually try to um, mark him. He do have some protect, so this would not be the worst of ideas. But he's nearly dead as well. Ah, let's just play it safe. Mark. Hopefully our Obelisk can one hit him on this. And she does. Wonderful. 
does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And that's that done. Didn't turn out to be too problematic. Didn't get any trinkets, sadly, but it's fine. Grab whatever that's inside. Now we can toss everything. Yeah, we're not gonna backtrack for anything. There's nothing left. Torches can go. Food can go. There we go. And that's our first veteran difficulty run done. Reasonably um, smoothly. Mostly because we got a really lucky dungeon. I mean, there was literally... Well, not literally, but next to no monsters in the dungeon. Got a lot of heirlooms. Always good. Hopefully we can start upgrading very soon. And only she came out with rabies. Let's see what quirks they got. Nothing too negative, I hope. Cold phobe, guilty conscience, we need to remove that. And we need to remove your disease as well. So yeah, that went out pretty well. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failing. I actually feel pretty confident about we can actually keep the rabies for now, I think. Because it's, again, it's not a huge it's we'll remove it when we can, but in the meantime, keeping it not the worst problem. We'll remove the guilty conscience. Because that's one of the negative quirks that can result in your characters doing things you don't want them to do. Never a good thing. Let's remove the trinkets though. Excellent. And that's that. We still want an our culture, so we have to keep an eye on the stagecoach. Nah, nobody will want. Again, we still haven't decided the last spot. Um, the, again, these two are the only characters we don't want to keep. One of them is definitely going to be the extra occultist. As for the other one, I think we need to actually save that spot for a special somebody that's coming in the... I don't actually know when he's coming, or she. Probably this month, or the next... Well, no, not, definitely not this month. I think it's probably um, coming next month. That's a new class called um, Aquarium? Aquarian? Uh, it's supposed to be Merchant originally, but they went with a fancier name, Aquarian. So the, character, the class is not going to be a combat oriented class. As you can guess from the name Merchant, um, they are going to be somebody that will help you well, get more stuff out of your run. More treasures, more heirlooms, more gold in general. So that's going to be an interesting class. Um, we're definitely going to keep a slot for them. So I think that's that's what that slot is going to be. And that's fine. Let's see how the bosses are doing. And nah, virtual chance. It's nice and all. Nah, we don't want another book of sanity. So and turns it looks like we're going to be doing another veteran difficulty run. Bullseye bandana. That's not the worst of um, not the worst of trinkets, but. Mm, not amazing either. Definitely not that. I'm not a big fan. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do dark runs, so this is not gonna help me. Minus 25% stress damage of torches below 26. I don't like doing dark runs. I am not brave enough for them. Sadly, I'm a little bit of a little bit of a chicken shit. Mm, this is not bad. Quick draw charm. There are a lot of people who are big fans of these, so we might actually do that. But it's cold though. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I think this is going to be something we're going to be doing. It's going to def it's definitely going to be the next recording. That's for sure. We are not letting that chance go away. Um, Cove is going to be nasty. Cove is always nasty, as you know. And we'll see how that goes. We'll try to figure out. We can figure out a party to take with us right now. Actually, I think we can go with Brigitte. No reason not to. Not Fuka. We want to go with Blight, because Bleed is not as handy as it needs to be in Cove. Um, as mentioned before, Fish Scale blocks Bleeding, or at least I think that's the logic behind the fact that most monsters in Cove have very high resistance. Blight, um, Plague Doctor would be nice. Blight works very well against the fish. And who else? That's the question. Out, uh, he would well, it would actually be decent because I mean, cultists do decent, relatively decent. Um, what do you call these? Eldritch monster damage. So, not the worst pick. I think that we can maybe. It's it's slightly less safe than taking a vestal, but it works. Ideally, for the first two position, we want take we want to take people who can self heal. 
So leper would be a good choice, but we don't have any level three lepers yet. So, well, that's not gonna happen. Ugh, I'm feeling a little burpy, but whatever. Um, that's a tough decision. We don't have any more guys who can blight. So, in terms of front line, we're just gonna have to. We really just have to wing it. Um, Frederick, our man at arms, previously quarter. He is coming along. I'm thinking of. Oh, I don't want to take this, miss. We're not. We're not taking our um, default NPCs with us until we've fully leveled them. Again, not taking chances. This is not coming. Edgar wouldn't be the worst of choices. He has decent damage. Hmm, tough choices. Stun is definitely a good option. I think um, Edgar will actually be pretty decent for this. Not definitely not my top pick, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. There's going to be a lot of stress damage in in the cove. Ideally, we should want to, we want to take our jester with, but it's fine. I think we'll we'll try we'll give this party um, set up a try. Let's just get the item set up. So healing is going to be very important unless we want to take. Um, the increased Eldritch damage trinkets, which apparently I don't have. I thought I have one. They increase Eldritch damage on the Occultist. There's debuff skill chance bonus, uh, move skill chance. These are not relevant. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the trinket I thought I had. There you are. Such is a way of things. Um, healing. So, I don't want to... I think healing skills are not as useful as we'd like them to be for Occultus, because his healing has already have a very high max. Where is it? Yeah. 0 to 16. So, if you do get a max, it's not going to... Uh, well, I suppose it matters. I mean, if you get like a 1 or 2, I mean, if you have a trinket, it's still going to buff that to a decent amount. But, you know what? It's fine. We'll go with this. Um... I don't actually know what to take. I'm, I'm thinking of this setup here. I don't like it. I, I'm not a huge fan. I want to give him some extra damage, but it's fine. I think we'll roll with it. Play Doctor. Where's that thing I just got last time? Yes, there we go. Um, I think we might actually be able to swap her position a bit. Nah, she doesn't bleed, so we don't want to actually use the knife stabby stuff. At least not the Play Doctor. Give her that. Add stun chance, add blood chance, and so on and so forth. What else can we give her that would be nice? Well, we can give her that, add stun chance. But I mean, this is pretty good as it is. Plus 40%. That's going to be very difficult for the monster to, monsters to actually resist. Now I'm actually feeling like I need another stress-reducing trinket. Hey, well, it's fine. Um, don't I have another one? I thought I had another one. This. Minus stress damage, 15%, plus 4 dodge. That's actually very nice. Might give it that to just reduce the stress damage from the from this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, as for you, that definitely. And uh, do I take the map or do I keep with this? I think we actually keep with this. Again, I don't want to risk too much stress damage in this dungeon. Because there are two potential stress inducers, the Acolyte and the Fish Shaman dude. This actually be might be nice. I don't know. We're not taking much actually damage um, increasing items. This would definitely be handy. And then let's give you this to increase move chance, stun chance, things like that. Or reduce the damage a little bit, but I think it will be worth it. What, we'll have to upgrade these characters, of course. Nah, the skill is not going to help. It's just a weapons. Let's give you a little more damage. 7 to 15. That doesn't really matter, but whatever. You're not going to be swinging at anybody. so it's, But it's fine. And who else were we taking? The, Edgar's already got his upgrade. Val still needs his upgrade. There we go. Okay, I think everybody's ready. So we are going to be taking on the Cove next time. Um... It's going to be a room battle clearing thing. What do you call these? Clans, yes. Clans run. And let's hope that go well. Goes well. Go well. Yeah, I really can't English today, apparently. 
Uh, happens rather frequently, but whatever. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Cheerio.